All right, guys, we're going to throw you right into winner's finals. I know you guys have been waiting for this set all night. We have Dakpo versus Phenom. Phenom's been playing phenomenally tonight, playing true to his name. Yeah, uh, with his, yes. yeah, with his, uh, with his Fox. Um, but as we've kind of seen tonight, this Luigi Fox matchup is a battle that seems to be in Luigi's favor. Yeah, the uh, Game Prodigy was more accurately describing oh, no. it as the, the no. Cyclone versus Fox matchup, and the Cyclone no. wins, as you can see right here by Dakpo's this demonstration. The instant, <laughs> there was less than 20 seconds. Yeah, it, like if Fox has to be, like Luigi just. He just oh spins my on him. gosh! I don't see why you'd ever want to play Fox in this matchup. That is, that is, that was that was far quicker than I've seen all night. That was the quickest I've seen that go through and work out. Uh, Dakpo in a great position. Phenom cannot let his, himself lose stage control. Yeah, if he gets gets thrown off stage like that, yeah, I think he should be looking for more like side bees to the ledge because yeah. of that. But yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Oh, that was a really good attempt. Uh, Dak, however, getting back to the stage and able to perfect shield that. Uh, Phenom needs to find this kill option then soon before Dak was able to get him back off the stage. Yeah, this is going to be another chance for Dak, Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, good stall. See, that's that's good. I think that's good. Because yeah. the side B onto the stage itself isn't very safe because of, like, that, that Luigi up smash will cut through it like hot butter. Yeah. But, yeah, <laughs> side being to the ledge like that is a much better positioning. Yeah. And from there, he can kind of work his way back on stage. Yeah. Phenom doing a really good job of not letting himself be thrown off of the stage like that first stock. But, however, running into the, the charge up smash will not help him often. Um... <laughs> Okay, so Dak was in a really good position right now. I'm not really sure uh, what Phenom can do aside from a Gimp, which I'm not sure if a player, a character like Fox is going to be able to Gimp. Luigi, that okay. was a scary position. Yeah, he was definitely had the a small window in which he could have down aired or down beat the uh, the Fox up beat, but he had, just since he had just snapped to the ledge, makes it pretty difficult. Yeah. Phenom kind of. Uh, oh no. I think is he trying to? I think he's trying to perfect pivot. I think so. Do something yeah. there. And it's, and it's like, because I, when I do perfect pivots, I always accidentally input a dash attack mm -hmm. uh, when I when I do it wrong. And that's the only thing I can think that could be. Uh, Phenom bringing his game back, however, 78% on Dak, but it's actually kill percent uh, with the up smash. Back throw? Yeah, Fox is light. Stage. Okay. Oh, catching him with the neutral air. He's forced to, doesn't go and try to make, force him to use the uh, up B. Yeah, trying to cover the side B on stage. I think he's still kind of figuring out, like, how exactly he needs to be covering to, to punish the, the side beat the ledge. It's pretty fast. Oh, oh just wow. barely out of range. Man, punch. if he had okay, if he had jump canceled that mm, and reversed reverse, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. that would have hit. Oh, tried to read it there. Oh, that air dodge. That was scary. Oh, but that back air will seal the stock. Super yeah. tense stuff there. Lots of back and forths that could have went either way. Yeah. I mean, and both both with Phenom, well, not both with Phenom stocks, but Phenom had two instances where he, he just kind of ran into moves mm -hmm. from Dakpo. At the end there, that back air, and then earlier ran into like a like a half-charged up smash. Um, Dakpo opting to switch in this situation. Uh, so how do you feel this matchup goes? I feel the Luigi one is, is a far better matchup, um, but how does Zero Suit Samus fare in the Fox matchup? I think it's still a decent matchup. Like, she has... Fox's thing is, you know, he's, he's sort of an aggressive character that likes to come in with, uh, like, falling aerials and such. Mm -hmm. And the Zero Suit does a really good job controlling both the air with with his airs and back airs and, like, fall, high neutral airs. And also, it, you know, when Fox starts running around on the ground, she has Paralyzer, or she has falling neutral air. So, yeah, like, that sort of stuff. He's going to be getting a lot of damage off of this. Yeah. So, I, I think it's good. You just have to, you have to plan point. If you do let Fox in, he's going to be putting out a lot of damage. And Zero Suit is fairly light, so he's going to be getting the kill confirmed relatively early. Yeah, as a... Uh in earlier matches, uh, Dakpo would get punished heavily for the up B, and then I feel like in a matchup like this, he would get punished far heavier for um, a missed grab. As we were seeing in, uh, a bit earlier, he missed two grabs, and Phenom was able to punish that accordingly and get and rack up that damage. Uh, and when you know Phenom's getting two higher percents, when when Dakpo's getting two higher percents, one whiff grab could be Dakpo's stock. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's one thing that Dakpo actually can, sort of plays around. Um, whenever he is at a higher percent, oftentimes he doesn't go for the grab setup. Or at least whenever his opponent's at a higher percent, which generally coincides with him yeah. also being at a higher percent. Unless he's just playing phenomenally at that moment. Oh, that up tilt placed himself a bit out of the up, up B, however. Nice pure reverse neutral Bs. Kind of interesting. Both of them kind of. Dakpo kind of went off the stage. Oh, that's going to be a punish. That forward smash. 
So that uh, I was smashing on shield, not safe. Definitely uh, not safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> a little fancy stuff from Dak there, uh, canceling his uh, down B on the platform. Um, in a good position right now. Uh, he's probably going to be watching out for Phenom whenever he's in the air. He needs to watch out for those back airs, however. Another one should kill at the percent that he's at. Yeah, Deklo has been starting to do a, a, a tricky thing with his jabs, where he's spacing it so that he'll still do the, the three-hit combination, mm -hmm. but after the third, he'll be costing his opponent up. Yeah. So it can be really tricky to actually punish that, but yeah, Phenom has been doing an extremely good job using drop shield up tilts yeah. to, to punish that, get some damage on. Up tilt being a really, really good move on Fox. Absolutely. Uh, See, I love how we kind of mix it up there. Normally, you would see dash attack into an up tilt from Fox, but instead turning around, probably expecting Dakpo to get a uh, to, to shield uh, and getting that grab, setting up for a different kind of damage combo. I love you know innovative changing up things like that uh, to triple your opponent. Nice dash attack to call the retreating movement. Oh, he's to watch out for that forest mass the second time. Oh, wait, it's just in time for him to throw out that side B. Uh, that set we going to Dakpo. Uh, he loves doing that. Yeah, and then it's, on, so, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool and like very devastating. Yeah, and on battlefield it, it goes through the yeah. lip of the legs yeah. too. So it's just like yeah, the kick is so huge. The hitboxes are so big; it will reach people down below. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> scary stuff. It is super scary. I